Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi. We're going to do another ordinary to extraordinary Lightroom edit. Uh, this is also going to work the exact same way if you guys are using Photoshop ACR, Adobe Camera Raw. So for ACR users and for Lightroom users, it's the same thing. Tools are just in different places. So let's get started. Now, first, in looking at this image, I see a lot of garbage in the scene that really doesn't need to be there. And I kind of see a very cool shot, but we need to kind of bring it out. But what I see is a really nice mood shot with this bride in front of the window, uh, great lighting. Uh, and we'll probably end up warming it up. So let's get started. What I'm going to first do is I want to get rid of all this junk. We have this photographer, the girl, all this stuff, the chair. Uh, around on this side we have a piece of paper, some legs over here, a curtain that's falling down. Let's get rid of everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select an adjustment brush. And real quick, let's maximize our working space so you guys can actually see everything well. I'm going to hit I to remove my information, F twice to go full screen, and then F5, 6, and 7 to remove all the panels except for my develop panel. So let's go and add an adjustment brush. You can get there by hitting K or just by clicking on the adjustment brush. And what we're going to do is, we kind of taught you guys this effect when you're doing high key uh, editing for high key images, where basically we were just blowing out certain areas completely to make it fully white. We're going to do the exact opposite of this because I want this to be kind of a, a mood shot. So what we're going to do is create an uh, adjustment brush where we reduce exposure all the way to negative 4 and brightness all the way to negative 200. And this is just going to make these areas pitch black. We're going to raise the size of our brush, keep our feather at 100, float 100, and density at 100, and make sure auto mask is off. And then what I'm going to do is just brush around the outside of this image. So I'm going to go across the top, and we can, we'll, we'll fix up this uh, brush that we're painting on in one second. So it doesn't have to be perfect with this brush. All right, and I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to subtract it off a little bit of this top area, because I want to be able to see the top of this curtain a little bit. So we're just going to kind of remove it from the top. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do is we can still see in certain areas like here, we can still see some of the detail there. Um, so we want to remove that detail completely. Real quick, just to make sure that we have kind of an even uh, dark around the edges, e even blackening around the edges, I'm going to increase the size of my brush to a large amount, like right about here, 65. What is that, size 65? And then the feather I'm going to keep at 100 again. And I'm holding Alt while I'm doing this because we're adjusting the eraser brush. So this is the eraser brush. I'm going to hold Alt and then click once just to kind of just to kind of smooth out the edges of the scene. All right, I'm going to let go. Now we're going to apply this one more time with a new brush. So let's hit New again. It's the same settings, and this time we're just going to keep blackening out these edges just to make sure all this garbage on the outside is gone. And we can shrink it up a little bit, run it across the top. Okay, and then we're going to go on this left side. I'm just kind of like trying to get everything that we can still moderately see out of this shot. And there we go. Our, our shot is cl cleaned up, at least to where we want it to be. We're going to click off our adjustment brush, and we're going to go on to our settings. So again, when I look at this shot, I kind of see it as a mood shot. So I want to kind of get a nice warm feeling to it. So I'm going to hit W to select my white balance tool and then we're going to click on our dress. This will get me kind of to a close temperature range. And then from here I want to warm it up more. I'm going to bring up my temperature up to around 6600. And we'll probably come back and revisit this in a minute. Now let's go and adjust up our blacks. Again I want to have a lot of contrast in my scene. I'm going to pick my blacks up to about 10, add some more contrast to this image. We're going to add a little bit of clarity because she's uh, fully backlit. Um, we don't want to add too much clarity because you'll get that black halo like you see right here. So let's just go up a little bit, like say plus 10. Um, we can take vibrance down a tiny bit just so it kind of dulls up those colors a little bit. And that's about right where I want it. Now the last thing I want to do is just add a little bit of recovery because I want to be able to see these windows, uh, just like the door window framing, a little bit easier. So let's pull up recovery to like around 60. And that's great where it is. We can leave this in color. Um, actually, let's do one other thing. We're going to go and do our sharpening real fast. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, we're going to just add a little bit of sharpening. All right. And I'm going to add, what I want to do is keep detail a little bit lower, um, add a little bit higher radius and a higher sharpening amount, and then we're going to add a little bit of masking. What that's going to do is bringing masking back is going to just kind of reduce in the overall sharpening effect. I really only want to sharpen the larger edges and lines rather than sharpening like some of this small detail on her back. And that's why we're leaving, uh, we're bringing up the masking as well as leaving detail where it's at. Because I don't want to sharpen detail too much. 
All right, that's about where I want it. Now there's two options for this. I'm gonna create two different snapshots. One is gonna be this snapshot. It's our color snapshot. So let me hit tab to bring back our setting over here. Go to snapshots. This is gonna be color, mood shot. And then let's add another snapshot. What we're gonna do is change this to a black and white image. This is actually probably the, the style that I would pick to deliver to my clients. So I'm gonna save this as black and white mood shot and let's check it out guys here's the full screen here's our before here is the black and white after and let's look at the color after so again here's the before and here's the color after and the black and white after alright guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial have fun